Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, as you can see, we made a trip to the dollar store. We had some footage for you of us inside the dollar store looking for things. Unfortunately, the files on that camera got corrupted and uh, we cannot use that footage. So we are going to do future videos of us going to the dollar store and I think next time we're going to get nothing but first aid stuff so uh, you know they have Tylenol first you know band-aids and stuff like that but um, but for now today we just kind of focused on survival type items things that you could get um, and again the all of our videos are going to be for budget and uh, you know if you're raising a family things of that nature you're on a tight budget um, that's some place you can go and like I said, I think their total today was maybe $15 plus tax. So let's jump right into it. Here we go. Let's see, first thing we picked up was some Vaseline, some proteinium jelly. Um, you add that with some cotton balls, and you have great fire starter here. You can have probably 100 plus fires with just these two things. And, um,. Felt like it was a great value for those two things, a dollar a piece, can't go wrong. And to go with the Vaseline cotton balls, we have a lighter, a little electric lighter here for a dollar. Probably can't go wrong with that, seems to work pretty good. And to follow that up, we have 32 count matches here, little small packs of matches. Uh, seemed like a pretty good value for a dollar made in the USA too. And let's see, for many uses, not only for uh, you know keeping sweat off of your head and uh, filtering and a number of uses for bandanas. I think they like a cotton blend bandanas two pack for a dollar. So you can't go wrong with that. Great survival item many different uses. Next we have a aluminum water bottle. Got a little plastic lid on it. Seems to be, you know, it's very thin aluminum. Um, it's like 25 fluid ounces. So, you know, even if you boil water, uh, you know, it might hold up to that. Even if just to carry water as a vessel um, for a dollar, uh, we felt like you couldn't really go wrong with that. And let's see, then we have some cordage. We have some jute twine here, a three pack. Um, you know, you can use jute twine for many different things, uh, making shelters, um, you know, just everyday task. Uh, great, great thing to have. To go with that, we have some poly rope. 50 feet of it. Probably not the greatest cordage in the world, but you could use that to make a ridge line or help build a shelter. Be good enough for that. And then we found 25 foot hank of nylon paracord. I don't know how many strands it is. Haven't opened it up yet. But for 25 feet of cordage for a dollar, you can't go wrong. And then to go with those cordage, we have a 4x6 tarp. You got two of them. For a dollar, not the largest, probably not the greatest, but even if you just needed a ground cover, um, it'd be great, you know, in a pinch. Um, you could make a impromptu shelter with these as well. So, again, we're going with the theme of the of the channel. Uh, this is stuff that's going to be budget based. All right, and then I found these, which I didn't even know they sold, was fishing hooks. Um, you add those with the internal uh, twine of the fibers of the paracord, and you can make yourself a little fishing kit with those two things right there and maybe if it's conducive in your area you can catch a few fish and let's see moving on next we have a stainless steel knife 
little paring knife. Um, probably not the best again, but it all, is all stainless steel construction. You're not going to be using this for batoning wood or anything like that, but uh, maybe you want to gut those fish that you catch. Um, this would be a great cut to cut the cordage. Again, great. Just a small task. This would be a great knife for. So again, we're budget based. You know, just something uh, to fill in the gap until you have either funds or means to get something better or to give some give to somebody. Um, you know, you always have that friend that uh, you know might not have his own stuff or might not think about uh, preparedness at all. You could put this together in a pack, in a backpack, and give him this stuff, and you wouldn't be out maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks max, and he'd have supplies. And let's see, what else do we have here? We have a zoomable, super bright, teles tactical telescoping flashlight. Um, again, it's probably not the best. It has some kind of a uh, little lens on there to brighten it up I guess to make it more zoomable a little plastic construction again not the greatest construction um, but for a dollar it's better than nothing you would have light it does work and then to follow up with that we have a 10 pack of batteries again probably not the greatest batteries but a 10 of them You've got a little bit of quantity there, and it goes right with your flashlight. So you have, you know, multiple hours of uh, illumination at least. So, folks, uh, that's what we have for you. Again, the theme of most of our videos are going to be uh, budget. Everything for the budget. Not everybody has a ton of money to go out and spend and buy the greatest gear out there and uh, these are things that you can as an everyday person pick up to better your situation in a grid down or shit hit the fan or something of that nature even if it's uh, just hey I need to make a campfire I'm going camping and I cannot make a fire hey you've got capability now Alright guys, well I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.